Hi Excellers, today we're going to look at three ways to apply an Excel formula to an entire column or row. So I'm always looking for ways to be more efficient in, in working with Excel and especially when it comes to formulas. And sometimes you might have to apply a formula to hundreds, thousands or even tens of thousands of columns or rows when you're working in an Excel spreadsheet. So let's look at the three fastest ways to apply formulas really quickly to an entire column or row. So the three ways I'm going to show you are drag the fill handle using Excel shortcut keys and using the fill command. So let's kick off with using the fill handle. I've already popped in here a Excel formula which is going to give us sales value plus a tax rate and I've already typed that into C11. So just explaining the formula, what we have is uh, our sales value, 40, multiplied by the tax rate, which is in F5, and we have hit the F4 key to lock that in. So when we drag the formula, the, sale, the tax rate still remains in F5. And then we add the full total of sales on to the result of that formula. So we'll have 20% of 40 plus the 40, which is the sales plus tax. So we've typed that formula in our first cell and if we want to just click the cell, you've just typed, typed the formula in too. So the black fill handle will appear at the bottom right corner so if we want to fill the entire column, as in this example, we can just drag that formula down really quickly. And that will populate our formula. It could be the whole column, or it could be as, as far down as your data goes to. In this case, it only goes down to C20, but it could be the whole column. If you wanted to fill your row, you can equally just drag that along to the right. In this example, we filled a column. So that's the first example, that's dragging the fill handle. And that's probably the most common method I see Excel users use. The second one we're going to show, I'm going to show you is using the Excel shortcut keys. And this really is one of my favorite ways to quickly apply formulas. So let's go ahead. In the first instance, we want to select the whole row or column. In this case, we've gone from G11 to G20. Again, that could be the full column. For this example, I'm just using a short data set. So let's go ahead and type in the formula again, which will give us the sales, the sales amount plus the VAT added. So if we go ahead and hit equals, open parentheses, and our sales value is in F11. We want to multiply that by F5. Lock that in by hitting F4 to make that cell absolute. So when we drag the formula, that reference doesn't that reference doesn't move. Close parentheses. Then we want to add in the sales amount again, which is in F11. So we've got our formula set up. What we need to do is hit Control and Enter together. And there we go, Excel will populate really quickly our column of data. So that's the second way, using the Excel shortcut keys. Let's move on to the third way, and this is using the fill command. Again, again, another really quick way to do this. Okay, let's type in our formula again. So we have K11 multiplied by the tax rate. Let's hit F4 to make that absolute or lockdown close that parentheses, that will work out the tax for us. And then we want to add back in. This. So we've got our formula in our first cell. To use the fill command, highlight either your whole row or column or as much of or your column of data that you want to populate. Highlight that, go to the home tab, and you actually want to go into the editing group and there's a little fill handle. There's a little fill command here. If you hit down 
does the same thing and you can populate it like that again if you wanted to fill along what you can do is just select uh, then you can filter the right up or left there's a good few options in there so there's three ways to apply really quickly an excel formula to an entire column or row of data thanks for watching don't forget to thumbs up subscribe leave a comment if you want three free Excel tips every 15 days, don't forget to sign up to the howtoexcelatexcel.com newsletter and I'll see you again for another Excel video.